Let's go. <laughs> so what's good? <laughs> so you just finished Franny and Joe. Yeah, just body Franny and, and Joe. And you were you like reacted the last well, page. Okay, should I go first? Yeah, I, go I ahead. I wonder if you should go first. What, what, no, go ahead. You just finished it. I want to hear what okay. had you reacting. Well, what happened was. Okay, what happened was. I was trying to read. I was trying to read Brothers Karamazov. Yeah. But I couldn't read it. Well, I did. I did read pretty far. Yeah. I'm on like page sixty, and my initially my <laughs> plan was to talk about how like it's not moving fast yeah. enough for me. But this is what happened, dude. Well, first of all, I finally. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't go on into all that, but I feel like I finally been able to read because I stopped. I just been. I stopped smoking spliffs. Oh yeah. I You've forgot how to again. read, bro. I forgot how to read. Well, how I did, see you all just, the books out. You just bodied Absalom? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let me first say this. Let me first say this. <laughs> this is a crazy thing that happened. So I couldn't... Okay, I was trying to re- read Brothers Karamazov, but the thing is, my history with um, crime and punishment... Yeah. So, first time I read it was my first... The first book in the first class... Of undergrad wow it was like this like freshman freshman like seminar yeah and it was like a religion literature crossover class yeah and it was with a teacher who, who mark wallace who ended up being my advisor okay oh, the one that you did the the bologna book for exactly that ended yeah. up the school ended up fucking well <laughs> i fucked up i fucked up i read this is like a crazy admission to do on the track i read i bodied the first like 280 yeah it's like 460 yeah you and never then, finished it no, i was gonna finish it it yeah. was the first dude i was a little kid dude i was trying to read it then mark wallace went on this crazy rant and marked out all these spots and he, he did like a whole you know yeah and he was like reading whole parts aloud people reading part, parts aloud so i was like oh, i i basically read it you know what <laughs> i mean because i read the, and i read over all the parts he mentioned then fucking rebecca godfrey had us read it in that class R.I.P. Oh, sh- a crime- for what class? I wasn't cr- in that. Oh, you weren't in that no. one? No. She had us read it for this oh, crime for novel class. It was novels about that. crimes. Same thing, bro. <laughs> I got to like 288. And then I was like, all right, all right yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, dude, the point I fucking, being that you don't like Dostoyevsky. I do like the Dude, I've read. Dude, what's it called? Underground Man was like huge. Oh, yeah, true. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But no. But in general... This is another thing with Franny and Zoe I was thinking. Okay, that's that's one thing that happened this week. Um, so then I started, I was like, oh, I can't finish, I can't start this because, well, first of all, Dostoevsky and friends and just have people, be, just have people going on long rants, yeah. bro. So you were trying to read Franzen too? The Crossroads? No, did I say Franzen? Yeah. I meant uh, Franny and Zoe. Oh, okay. I meant okay. Salinger. Yeah, yeah. I meant Salinger. Um, so then another thing that happened was um, Lee Siegel, another teacher, yeah. who got canceled kind of. Oh, did you know that? No. What did he do? I don't know. He made a joke about autism in class. <laughs> I, that's what I heard. Really, dude? What was the joke? Do you remember Lee Siegel? Do you have Lee Siegel? No, not at all. He's an old man. He's a, he, dude. But he he taught the auto fiction class at Columbia, and we he would teach all these kind of edgy edgy oh. books, and he would just set me up, bro. I was on Zoom, and I come into class like, Yo, Frederick Exley, fucking dude, this I fuck this fuck, book fucking slaps. Like I just come in yeah. hot, and all these girls would be like, what about like the rape scene on page seventeen? <laughs> I was like, what rape scene? He's looking at a magazine, like, and Lee Siegel would be there just like taking their side. I'm like, you fucking yeah. assign this book, motherfucker. But I, he's a good, you know, he, he taught like Nausgaard, which is yeah. funny. Sheila Hetty. Anyway, he ripped the Salinger. You sent it to me. The Salinger uh, essay about like Salinger being like Christ, and the thing about Salinger is, I didn't even remember this, bro. That's people would be like, when do you become a writer or whatever? Yeah. In high school, I ripped a <laughs> dude. I ripped the essay on Salinger, on Catcher in the Rye, on Catcher in the Rye, yeah. and it was a fire essay, dude. And I came back, and they were teaching that the essay. Wow, they were teaching your my essay. essay. Wow. So I was like, dude, I was going in about the ducks, you know, like where yeah. the ducks, you know what I'm saying? Where are the ducks going? Have you read? It? No, no, I haven't. Damn, dude, that's a thing. I had a girl in my boxing class this week. <laughs> she she came up to me. She was like, uh, I finished your book. Uh, I feel like it's for people who like Catcher in the Rye, and I don't like Catcher in the Rye. Damn. That's what she said to me. I was like, thanks. She read one part where Daniel was Yeah, maybe. Then she goes, Daniel's an asshole. That's what she Bruh. said. <laughs> well, that's what people were saying about, dude, I mean, I sat through a million fucking Zoom yeah. pitches of my book. Yeah. 
for TV, and they're just being like, this is catching the rye for our generation. Yeah. But then people kept telling me to read, uh, you know, other Salinger, and for some reason I never really could. Because you like, tried to, yeah, I tried in the past, in? or it seems like I mean, it's almost the same reason why I don't even want to talk about it, or not, I do want to talk about it, but it's almost like it's like too obvious, yeah, to, to do, you know what I mean. But I went on a deep dive and I read all of Salinger's um, um, Wikipedia page, and stuff, yeah, and then I finished, I just finished Franny and Zoe, but and then I read half of his stories, but that's all he published, you know, that's all he published, yeah. and then when, when was he finished publishing? He dude, was young, right? He was young, dude. So he published Catcher in the Rat at 32. Yeah. Then he married some young girl. That's See, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Then he married some young girl. Not, th- I mean, I think she was in her 20s. She wasn't like he, 14. Well, this is what Annika was talking about. And Joyce Maynard. Yeah. She was like 18. Who was that? She w- or she was 22. That's the girl he married? That's the one who wrote the memoir about her. Oh, yeah. Him. She was like a student at school. Yeah. So that's the thing. Okay, that's the thing. And his whole thing is like... Like, you know, motherfuckers doing stuff for ego and like they're like the fo- and he kind of is kind of religious. So the, the OK, it's long story short, I'll, I'll go on a full Salinger rant. But the weird thing was and I wrote that career essay. Yeah. And he's talking about the way of the pilgrim. Um, That old book. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And the, the girl Franny and his, her older brother, she's reading that book and kind of going through a weird mental breakdown. But basically, a weird thing happened in the crossover. So I'm reading a little more of um, Dostoevsky, yeah. of Crime and Punishment. Like, I'm rereading it, bro. Yeah. I read it, dude. I read it a long time. I just don't remember yeah. it, bro. And because um, I have markups, like, all throughout. <laughs> but I just, at a certain point, once Raz Mukin goes on, like, a yeah. long rant, I'm like, bro, like, this, <laughs> how long is this? This is a three-page rant, yeah. bro, about, like, morality, bro? <laughs> Chill, dude. That's, that's the thing. And this is weird. Franny and Zoe is, like, a lot of long... It's, like, a lot of long rants. That's the thing I was thinking. It's, like... He he has these ideas about. It's really pretty obvious about how he's like Im- supplanting his narrators by just doing rants that he would do, kind of. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah, why. That, that's, I mean, but that's like. That's classic though. That's what I used. Yeah. To, that's what right? Fuckboy was. But I forgot about that. Yeah. Because I'm like in this weird place. But how come the Salinger hits for you, but the Dostoevsky's? Because I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because Siegel hit on this in the essay. The Siegel. The the catcher in the rye is about a dude who's walking around yeah. and he's like grieving. The the uh, yeah, tra- traumatic loss, right? Yeah. And then all his actions are based off of that. Yeah. And then there's a character their older brother Seymour, um, that's the loss in who 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 committed suicide in Franny and Zoe. There's a story called uh Banana Fish in the collection. The first story. Yeah. Uh day whatever it's called. Something with a banana fish. That's just about him, like going on the beach, kind of like, t- like talking to, like a little girl, like kind of like touching her ankle weird, hey. and then going to his hotel room and blowing his. Oh my god! Yeah, really? that's a story. That's a story. Oh my god! It's like god. crazy, yeah. bro. And then this story, they're they're two siblings, and she's wigging out, like trying to read this fucking Christian thing, and her older brother's like, and he's re- she's reading this book that he had, Seymour, her yeah. older brother who's dead, had. She's in college, and she's like, everyone fucking suck. Everyone's phonies here. Like, yeah. I don't like her, you know? And then he's all like, you better chill out with all that, you know? But um, they're dealing with... So, I don't know. I was thinking about, like, dealing with... Yeah, I don't know. Dealing with... It's the, the grief death. stuff. Deal- yeah, because I'm thinking about that, bro. Like, how to write about it. <laughs> you so, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Real quick, though. Yeah. The weird thing, the connection to yeah. you, which made me all like... I was like, oh, this is why you need to read a lot and, like... And there's a lot of stuff about that I can see yoga's influenced by. Yeah. Because he's he's writing extensively. And I wrote in the essay about that book about praying incessantly yeah. in Thessalonians. That's all from this book. From like the way the pilgrim? F- that, uh, from Franny and Zoe. Oh, really? The yoga stuff yeah. is all about is this book she's reading about how to how yeah. to learn how to pray incessantly. And he mentions it in yoga. Yeah, but yeah. I was like, oh, bet, bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I read the whole... And then there, it's all around this book. And she's all like trying... I mean, he's trying to... And you can see how it reflects in his career, right? He's trying to get to this place of like non-ego. Because he gets kind of Eastern. And yeah. then later in his life, he started going through all these like weird... Salinger started going through all these weird like um, Eastern like meditation techniques. And I was looking at the epigraph for the nine stories. And it was it was something Eastern, Eastern? like yeah. that. Yeah. But right? He's trying to get out of this place of like ego and like... You know, he he's not letting anyone... He, he, I saw on his Wikipedia page, he, like, spaz out if anyone tried to interview him and stuff. Oh, yeah, that book is right here. Yeah, look, yeah. look at the epigraph. Yeah, what's the epigraph of this? Um, 
but the thing that was crazy was that um i realized so then it started making me but they then basically a weird thing happened when raskolnikov goes into um sonia's spot yeah who's um, a, the prostitute yeah, oh yeah, yeah right yeah. after she the first time not the second time when he like prostrates himself yeah see i fucking know bro i read it okay <laughs> the first time after like he leaves the family and like he's like i'm about it you know and he kind of looks at uh his friend in a way where his friend knows what he did yeah and then she starts going and he's like god ain't real to sonya yeah and she's he's like he's like he's like you're a whore and i'm a, whatever he's like we're both sinners you know yeah like and then she's and then she reads the verse the same verse that the, the lazarus verse? oh no, the okay. lazarus with yeah. Mar- mary and, and and Martha. Oh yeah. Which is literally what they were referencing. Seymour's referencing here. Yeah. And then I'm like, bruh. Then I went had to read those verses because that's what you that's what your naming conventions. Yeah, based yeah. Off of. The that, M- Maria and Mar- yeah, Martha. Yeah, Martha. Martha is Lazarus's. So sister. then I'm fucking reading the Luke and the John parts, trying to figure out why you did it like that. Oh really? Yeah, you, you went back to the gospel. Yeah, dude, it's right there. Dude, I was fucking. We know the sound of two hands clapping, but what is the sound of one hand clapping? A Zen koan. Wow, but but you know, um, so what the fuck? So what? And my my Marta, right? We got. Uh, you said it was the Gospels, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gospels. <laughs> no, but you know, you, what did you do? Why'd you name that? Past that, also we got like in my book, Marta's a grandma, right? And she had a little brother. One of the the defining moments of her life, right? Yeah. It was her, her little brother Fernando died, and okay. that was. Uh, Daniel's birth name, right? Before his, mm. that was going to be his name was going to be right, Fernando, right, right, right? right? So he's a, like a little Lazarus kind of. He's Lazarus. There. Yeah, it's a, it's these little resurrections with right, the naming, right? right? The little right. resurrections, which, but what was I was going to go? So what, what, dude? Am I? And I'm not even still. I'm yeah. finally not. I'm, I'm thinking clear, yeah. dude. I was just, I was, so, so, so. Like, how does Salinger, the Salinger seem to be, believe in God like Dostoevsky does? Okay, so... So what, what's the difference there? So here's the thing. Okay, this is also based off of, like, I, I read the... I read, you know, it's Fran, it's, it's two things. It's a short story and a novella. Franny's yeah. like... And I'd read Franny a long time ago, you know? And she's like... And then it's kind of... And then it goes into Zoe. And it's so... Cr- Zoe's, like, really long. And Franny's all, like... Basically, Franny's, like, wigging out and, like... um having a breakdown kind yeah. of and like and, her, and everyone's worried about her because in there like, it's that damn book she keeps reading yeah and he's like <laughs> the she, pilgrim book yeah and she's like he and she's all like you know everyone's phony in school he on that phone yeah. you know he's all like yeah. everyone's a fucking phony bro so for her you're only you're phony if you're not praying all day yeah and yeah exactly a- and then seymour's like i mean uh zoe's all like bro, like you know to his sister like chill out like like you think you think like he kind of just like does a long rant to her where he's like you think like you know just like wigging out on your teachers is gonna like it, it, it means you're with god yeah you know what i mean like and then that's how the book ends that i just read when i was sitting there he was like i don't care i don't care where an actor acts it can be in some okay he goes he goes he goes uh um, i'll tell you a terrible secret are you listening to me there isn't anyone out there who isn't oh wait, he goes yeah he's all because he's all like yeah like that's he's basically saying like that's yeah that's not the way like just wigging out like you are isn't like following God. Yeah. Like you don't understand Jesus. Basically, what he's saying, you know. And she's like, I understand. She's all yeah. citing different things. Like I, you know, Matt. You know, she's like, I, I understand. Yeah, but it's kind of like, basically, like he's all he's all critiquing her for thinking that like being super unegoistic in every capacity is like the only way. But then she's like, he's all like criticizing her, being like, you're judging everybody else. For for being egoistic, for, being, for 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 like calling everyone else, like, yeah. But then like bro, like on his, <laughs> then like that girl wrote the the thing about about uh, and that's another thing. Annika's always like, yo, you're like Zoe for for real, yeah. the older brother, because like she's they're all like he does he like he, he they're all describing him as like this curmudgeonly old dude who like never goes anywhere and like judging everyone. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, he won't even go get a drink with someone. You know, he just like has to be working. Yeah. You know, I'm like. That's why I didn't want to read it too. But then he he ends it by going, he's like, you know, that includes like, you know, that includes your your professor, your like old old, old, old goddamn cousin. You know, he basically says like, um, the secret is like, you know, Christ Himself is the only is the only real thing. 
Dude, this was Christ like kinda, is the answer. Yeah, I yeah. get. It. But then I guess in his life, he started going on like he would he would leave. So so he so what he end up doing? So what, what he, he ended do up doing? Sixty years from his Wikipedia page, he 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 started the, he started these relationships with like. Like, this is why I'm saying we 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 bomb the the yeah. pod and we go up because this whole idea of like protecting some like fragile like perfect thing. Yeah. I don't know. He seems like he just kept going for like younger, more pure, like untouched, oh, okay. so like he was women the, the, who he like started writing really letter yeah. relationships with. You know. Yeah. And then like. So he gave up writing for pussy. I guess he was still in the writing. perfection was, of young beauty. Right. He was still writing, but he he was like. Oh, it, it wasn't pure he enough wasn't to publish. publish. Yeah, he was like publishing. Oh, and that's like why he, he had to keep ditching his his women for younger women. I guess. Yeah, I finding guess. more perfection. But then the last girl, she was in school, and she like left school to like live with him. And he, but was he an like old wouldn't. Man. Yeah, he like wouldn't penetrate her, and he'd only get <laughs> get topped up by her. <laughs> is that what she that's, said? That's what. That's what. That's why what, is that a more? That's what, that's is what that a less dirty? Me. I guess that's. The, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> No, no, I mean, I yeah. mean, I don't know, dude. That's a little invasion into his, you know. Yeah, yeah. And she, she we don't know what he was. We don't to. know what was on, but, <laughs> but, um, but I don't know, bro. Like, but then even this book, but then, yeah, I don't know. This book was like, I don't know. What do you think about long rants? I, or I don't know. There's like, something about the pacing because I was listening to your CBS thing. You're yeah. talking about the pacing. I was totally like. You know, yeah, I like your little McDonald's shout out there yeah. too on the low. I, I didn't mention his name. I know, I know. <laughs> like you ain't get a shout out like that until you email me back. <laughs> but um, but um, but yeah, the I mean, you thought the Karamazov was slow? No, uh, well, I just read a fire, dude. I just read a fire. Wait, yeah, which one? I just read the one. I, I finished Women that. Of Faith. I finished that. That's crazy, bro. Why, you, how, you, dude? How are you reading so fast, bro? Because I gotta write, dude. I, yeah. That's the thing. I can't let people into my brain right now. Yeah. You know, this is how I'm supposed to be reading when I'm like this. I'm yeah. just picking. I'm, I'm. Well, I spent the whole month reading the Karamazov. I wasn't when I was hitting Absalom this week. I wasn't writing anything. I didn't write anything. I was just, right. I was just going in. But, but this, I, I read it slow. And then, you know, when it was boring me, I, I would pick up something else. Yeah. Because sometimes, I mean, you know, it's it's good, obviously, right? The language yeah. gets a little yeah. boring in the long right, rants, right? Right, right, right. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, the thing that's the worst, yeah. and this is totally, I think this is just, well, I don't know, that aspect of, like, there's a part around the end of this book where he, like, he's like, then Zoe walked into into this one room. Yeah. And he read all these quotes that were written down that were, yeah. like, Seymour, you know, his fa Seymour's favorite quotes or something like that, you know, his dead brother. And they're just, like, his favorite quotes. Yeah. Yeah, Salinger. Well, yeah. Like, I forgot that that's what writing is. Because that's what Fuckboy was, yeah. bro. That's what I always was in. It was just, like, you're just reading, <laughs> reading, and finally, yeah. like, oh, let me share a little bit with you. But then now, but then when you're writing about something that has no meaning, I don't know. Dude. Yeah. It's much harder. It's much harder to be like, art. Uh, just, it's just art. We're sure, you know, yeah. it's more like, how do you, but I guess I got to get back to that. Or, or you know what? This is what it is. So, damn, I feel like I've talked like 90%. Yeah. So far. <laughs> you're going to go on, you can go on Absalom right after. But so much of this stuff, like one line of his favorite quotes was like this. Um, Damn, where were they? It was basically like, right, work, like, don't work for a result is, you can't, it's always like, kind of like, damn, biblical type yeah. energy, like Jesus type shit, where it's like, work for a result, Um, you work for the sake of the work, right here. Um. Damn, you got an Anna Karenina quote in here. Um, yeah, right here. Perform every action with your heart fixed on the Supreme Lord. Renounce attachment to the fruits. Renounce attachment to the fruits of your work. Be even tempered. This is like me trying yeah. remembering how to read again. <laughs> um, underlined by one of the, co you know, it, it, be even tempered in success and failure, for it is this evenness of temper which is meant by yoga. I'm like, bro, this is this is what Carrera's spitting in yoga. Yeah. Because he said it's like his favorite book. He rereads it all the time. Really? Yeah. Franny and Zoe? Yeah. And Wait, so, so that, the, that the even tempered thing makes me think of the Karamazov and the it God does? thing. Yeah, because look, and this, this you know, uh, this the angle I was I was thinking about it when I was done was like, I mean, the whole shit, it's like a dad book. It's all about yeah. dad, God, dad and fucking 
dad dad there and i was thinking okay, like okay there's you know there's ivan and dimitri and alyosha and you then tell there's, you where i got to yeah yeah alyosha Al- pulls up to the church place yeah I mean, to the to the the monastery, the monastery, yeah. and like the dad's all like ranting. All oh, that cooking. part's hilarious! It is pretty he's, funny. It is pretty he's funny. Going, he's he's like, all like, ah. <laughs> and then he goes, "I'm so sorry." Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, a big that's goofball. funny. He's, he's been a big dr- goofball. He's drunk. And then, and then the chapter app. Yeah, he's drunk, mm-hmm. bro. That's what it says too. Work. Yeah, work done with anxiety about results is far inferior to work done without such anxiety and the calm of self-surrender. Seek refuge in the knowledge of the Brahman. This is from the Bhagavad Gita. Um, those who work selfishly for results are miserable. Oh, but that's what I'm trying to do right now, bro. I'm trying to do something results. on results because I've never ri- made anything that had results. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I never written a book that got published and I made a, b- a bunch of shit happen after. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So now I'm trying to do it. And I'm like, oh, I'm about to, I'm just like texting Julie, like, I'm about to produce it. You know, yeah. it's, it's not how you can work. I can't yeah. work, dude. I'm miserable, You got to work bro. for the Lord. Okay. And then I read the next chapter where all the moms, the the, the, the moms who had lost their children. Oh, their yeah, yeah. And then but, that hit. So keep going. Yeah. The even. Even tempered. No one, like, the fucking brothers are all like, the dad is all like, they're always going crazy yeah. all the time. They're yeah. snapping off crazy. Dude, then what? they're getting drunk and fucking yeah. They're going nuts it's all the time. Dostoevsky, Except Russians, Except for Alyosha is the only one not going. Because he's monked up. Yeah, but but actually, but why is that? Why is he so, he's even tempered? Because he got. It's like me and you. Exactly. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, dude? I'm even <laughs> No, he got two dads, right? He got God, and then okay. he got Zosima. Right. Fucking, no one else in the book got a dad, and they don't even believe in God. Zosima's so the uh, Is the monk. monk. Okay. Like the elder there. Yeah. So he got this stability coming from the top down. So you're right? saying that. He's all the way stable. So you're saying that people spaz out and get drunk when they don't got a dad. I don't know. Wow, bro. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty wild, dude. They, they no, I mean, they no. snap off, but. Yeah, it, that's probably why you're so even tempered and I'm always spazzing out. Maybe. Maybe. Damn, dude. <laughs> but, Bad breeding, bro. And, but also. I'm just ripping pods like lit as fuck with my dad, dude. Yeah. That's so destabilizing. <laughs> it's destabilizing. That's so destabilizing, bro. But, and, you know, like the funny, like later on, the one time Alyosha, like, snaps off is when he, uh, the elder tells him he's dying and he's like, you got to leave. You got to leave the monastery. So it goes through his whole and life. be a regular person. Yeah. Right. And so he goes out and this fucking monk that's hanging around convinces him to go to this Grushenka's house. Okay. Right. And she's going to try to get him drunk and they want to get him drunk. And he's okay. like, whatever. He's kind of despairing. He's like, whatever, I'll get drunk. Yeah. And then as soon as he gets there, like it changes and all of a sudden, uh, Grushenka's like bowing at his feet and say, I'm sorry. I try to like fool you and get you drunk. You know, I love you, you know, cause he just has, he has that effect on, on everyone in the book. He calms him down. Yeah. He calms him down and he settles them and, and they just want to be good around him everywhere he goes. Everyone's just trying to be good around him. Damn. Yeah. That's like the effect you have. Yeah. Man. <laughs> but that's kind of the effect I have on people who are way long, yeah. long gone than me. But I was thinking about that too. And I can oh maybe I rile everybody up. I can't tell. <laughs> you could do both. I could do you, both. You're mercurial. <laughs> but wait, that reminds me of It's it's interesting to me, like I was thinking about Alyosha and like in in relation to Fuckboy. He's too. kind of the protagonist. Yeah. The dad I mean, is initially and then like because the, the narrator the model, the, model says that he's the hero, okay. right? He's the hero of okay. the book. He says that early on. But I was thinking like... <laughs> you bought it. I got 60 pages in, bro. All I, right. I spent all month reading it. Well, how does it go to fuck, boy? Yeah, but he goes around. He's always like... He's hardly himself in the book. Like, he's almost a vessel that goes around for everyone else to talk to and talk right, through. Right, right. Right, which... But... And Fuckboy is too. And it seems to me like... Like... Alyosha is he's not porous like Fuckboy is in a in a way where Fuckboy's going around every new person is right. someone to be almost and, and he's like I could talk like that too bro exactly yeah, it's, yeah, it, yeah. the boundaries are porous and, right you know I wonder if that's like and Alyosha's boundaries are not but they're not porous, porous but he does have that or okay that's why it's different yeah it's different and okay. I wonder what like if, if that's the uh, 
the top down stability from the god top down and, you stability know. yeah i ain't got god or that yeah <laughs> I'm just a dog. You're searching. You're searching. That's that's how you're letting. But the thing is, in real life, I mean, I was making fun of that Mm. self, you know. Yeah. But in real life, or I don't know, lately, I feel like I usually am that. I am this thing to people, but then I feel like a vessel. Yeah. And I'm just, I, I I don't have any space for myself anymore. Yeah. Like I'm literally just, uh, or I've been noticing that myself about lately, about myself lately, where like, I don't like, yeah, that must be some dad shit, where like I feel like. Sometimes certain or just like almost every relationship, I feel like I'm like really afraid of disappointing people. Yeah. So I'll do all the shit I don't want to do. So that because it. Yeah. I, damn. Why? Why don't you want to? But not. But then. But then a lot of times like this happened. Yeah. I'll give a less. Yeah. Telling example. Yeah. Or less like. You know, whatever. This happened like last week with like Jordan. He yeah. was we were trying to hoop, and I fucking I was full nocturnal, bro. Yeah, I fucking felt it passed yeah. out. I slept through. I woke up right when we were supposed to hoop. Yeah, and he had texted me like five times, like "What's good, bro? I'm about to drive in." Like trying, to, and I was just like, "Fuck, bro! Like I'm so sorry, dude." Like you know. Yeah. And then like and I was like, "My bad." And then I, like an hour later, I was like walking around, and I was like all fucking sad. And I was like, <laughs> I woke up at like seven p.m. I yeah. was like, "Dude, I'm so what the fuck am I doing?" I walked to the park. I was like walking. Around. I was like crying about some other shit <laughs> and then fucking i like texted him again like dude i'm so embarrassed bro like it's fucking I gotta, I gotta get my shit together yeah he's like it's all good bro like five other people pull up we like balled out yeah. you know it's like it doesn't even matter like yeah. or he didn't even care I, I don't know but i was like what the fuck is that in me where i'm like anyways i'm turning this into therapy session i'm in the therapist seat but you <laughs> were saying you were saying because okay this gnarly when he meets sonia yeah and he goes like Dude, it reminded me of that movie that I wrote about the uh, Safety Brothers movie where he's all like telling that girl. Anyway, which one is that? Uh, the early Safety Brothers movie that I wrote about, uh, and that one essay that might come out at some point. Um, it's like this, like really like intense. Like they're both on heroin, and he's all like telling her to like. Anyway, yeah. I, I don't even want to say it aloud, but he goes like, "There, three ways are open to her." He thought. To throw herself into the canal, to end in a madhouse, or finally to abandon herself to debauchery that will numb her mind. This reminds me of what you were saying when yeah. the girl's trying to take Alyosha and make her yeah, yeah. Little demon time. And turn her heart to stone. Abandon herself to debauchery that, that will numb her mind and turn her heart to stone. Those are the only three options? The last idea was because he's, he's saying she's fucked because yeah. she's like a... Is she a prostitute? Yeah. Yeah, she's a prostitute. The last idea was repulsive to him, but he was skeptical. He was young. He had an abstract and consequential, cons- consequently cruel mind, and therefore he could not but believe that the last course of yielding to corruption was the most likely. Wow. that is our culture just yielding to corruption? Am I yielding to corruption? How are you Damn. yielding to corruption? I don't know. It's, it's easy to yield to corruption. Huh? That's like... And and I feel like that's <laughs> that's like you going downtown hangout. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you go the part you're like, nah, you can't even yield the corruption. <laughs> but that's and I feel like to a certain extent that's like a despairing mode, right? And you get that in Karamazov, right? After Dmitri, well, we think he yeah. kills his dad. Okay. You know, we get a scene and then it's There's like blocked out. Just yeah, like your book. yeah. <laughs> we think he kills his dad and he runs off. And he got money now, and he just he's going on a bender, and he's like, okay. "I'm gonna kill myself in the morning." That's the whole point of the bender is he's gonna kill himself when he's done. So he's just like, it "Took me every time I stay up all night, dude." Yeah, <laughs> right. It's a, it's a despairing mode, right? The right, bender is right. the bender is a despairing mode, dude. I've been in a bender, bro. Yeah, but now you're reading again. Now you're I'm good. reading again. But now I'm reading the Bible, dude. Yeah, you're reading the Bible. Nah, I knew this was gonna happen. This is the only. Okay, we have to keep. We can't. Too inconsistently pod because this is what happens. Like I get on the pod and I start yeah. talking shit. Like yeah, I'm good now. <laughs> I re- I'm reading like seven. Dude, I'm fucking reading seven books and then I quit the pod and I'm just like put it out. I'm just like yeah. Nah, nah. Just we'll go back. Spark <laughs> up. Fucking watch some sick videos. Yeah. Like damn, what's going on with the wildfires? What's going on with this? Remember you you would watch those those YouTube those baseball videos. <laughs> <laughs> what baseball videos? It was the ones where the dudes were like commenting on. Oh, the, the John Boy videos. Yeah, dude, yeah. John Boy videos are great, bro. I still watch those. He's a he's a fucking lip syncing lip lip reading genius, bro. Yeah. He's an artist, bro. I'll not don't disrespect John Boy like that. 
What you right. don't you don't ever get lost no, in rabbit I'm, holes? I'm, yeah, my my YouTube. Yeah, don't um, fucking do. Don't you I, fucking fake ass out. I, I say you trying to <laughs> act like <laughs> my, my my YouTube reels are, are dumb. I'll be like, sometimes I get stuck on a street ball rabbit hole. I'm just watching, you know, it's dude, <laughs> bro. Lately, like, dude, lately there've been there've been videos that somehow made it to my algorithm where motherfuckers would just be like one on one, like a fight breaks yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, bro, like, am I just sitting here watching like 30 minutes of like dudes playing one on one? Like, I'll just go play one on one, yeah. bro. Like, I'm just like watching dudes play basketball at the park. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck is going on, dude? I had to, I had to cut that shit out, bro. Yeah. Um. Damn. Okay. So, so Do- Dost is pretty. I mean, he's, he's, he's going with God. But you know, he had the. He has a clear vision about. Right. He had that big moment where he thought he was gonna die. Right. The fake execution. In real life. You know that, yeah, right? right? Right. What happened again? He he was in some subversive group, some political group or whatever, right, right. and they sentenced them to death. Right. Right? And uh, they put him in a firing squad, and like he, he made the walk to die or whatever. He was out there in front of the firing squad, Damn. and they just didn't fire. They shot above their head. Damn. Right? And so, right. and then after that, he was sent to exile. Right. And I think... I, I don't know where it might be in the afterward of the, the edition I had. Someone was asking him what gives him the right to, to write about all these the Russian yeah. people or something like that. And he he pulled up his his pants and showed the, the scars on his ankle from the shackles he wore in Siberia and he was like, It's a, this does. Damn. So he I mean, he went through it, you know. Yeah. I feel like I died I almost died a few times. <laughs> I don't really feel like I should still be. Damn, but but you fucked with this. Yeah, li- yeah. You know, I like. I mean, you know, the rants can and the, there's there's some long parts where you know it's but it's but it's so but it you, hits the whole thing. Do you think that good. kind of that kind of that's interesting that that kind of like panned out view of like what happens to certain people? I mean, even here, yeah. like he just steps back. He's describing the interaction. Yeah. He steps back. Well, was like, well, he was still like a. Um, young man yeah. who's, and then he shows how certain routes people can take, people take depending on yeah. their circumstances lead them to be certain ways. You think that's why? Like I don't know, it's kind of like sus maybe, but I should, I feel like on my algorithm it's like Jordan Peterson being like, "Brothers Karamazov is like the greatest b- work of literature," <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm like why do you like it? That almost made me like, why do you like it so much, yeah. dude? Like, you think that's kind of why? people or that's why because it's that which what makes scope? it great because of the scope and showing like almost on a sociological degree like how people you know he's I always kind of doing that a little bit right yeah, with this too i was kind of like after i finished it i was like you know why do some people think this is the the best book ever because a yeah, lot of people yeah, say that yeah like, this is the best book ever yeah and i was i was trying to like and i feel like it's you know it's different than like even like a tolstoy or something Right. Everyone's so intense in the book too, and and like wild, and like they're crying all the time. Right. And right. You know, right. it's very intense, and I I think I came away with it like like you know I gotta I feel like I had to run this back before like it was almost too expansive and like you know a lot of books are difficult in different ways. Right. And like the language isn't hard in that book at all, and like it it's long, but it's not hard right right but it's just like the whole expanse of of human uh the canvas right, right. it's right. just it's too wide for that's what i'm immediate saying comprehension okay, that's what i'm saying like, i feel like that's I need, what take that's what takes you know. me out of the dose sometimes is too when, big no it's when the point he's making becomes clear yeah like it breaks me out of it. Like yeah. when Rasmukin or whatever is going yeah. on a rant, like these people, I'm just like, bro, like you know, it's like yeah. this part in the play where someone's like, I don't know, like yeah. it take, where and often what I crave when I'm reading is like singular action, like almost like no thoughts, just seeing through yeah. space. I want to move through space, but then a chapter will fucking finally end. And then Raskolnikov is fucking romping around yeah. like a psycho, and he's like and I'm pulled up. That's when I'm like, oh, I'm charged up again. Yeah, right. And then say, and then with the fucking, and that's how, that's kind of how, um, that's how like, well, that's how Catcher in the Rye moves. It's three days. He's walking around New York City. Almost every new section break is like, he's going to a new place. Yeah. And then like, he, he'll do, he'll walk around he'll, and he, it's just like a journey throughout Central, you know, that's another wild thing. He fucking grew up like, 
you know the ducks on Central Park? Oh, yeah. Ninety second street. That's right, right. Right on the park. Yeah. So that's why I was in Salinger mode too. <laughs> but um he's ranting about and then he'll have little rants go in, yeah. in and out. But this book was like all I mean, dude, he just goes in like Franny's room and they talk for like fifty pages. They're like ranting yeah. back and forth. But that was hitting for you. It it was I. It slowed it down. It was I. It was a little slow. You down. need the movement. I need movement, kind of. But yeah, maybe I'm. I, yeah. Yeah. The and then there, there's a long court scene at the end. That's you know <laughs> that, that the court scene. Honestly, I can that that was like I don't know if you ever hit Native Son. I might. I mean that yeah, one. I might have in a class. Like that is all action. Like from right, like the right. first. Oh, oh, Native Son. Yeah, hit yeah, that Richard in. Uh, right. Yeah, hit that in. Fuck. Oh, no, I hit Black Boy in Lee Which Siegel's is good. class. Black Boy's sick. Shouldn't got canceled, dude. Talk yeah. To my plane. <laughs> but Native Son, just like honestly, no, I don't think I don't know he got canceled. If you want some some movement, read like the first uh, two thirds of that. It go goes go, and it's like yeah, it's like wild. Like you, you no, I mean, dude, you hit it in a second. Yeah, and then. And then after that, it gets bogged down. This oh, there it is, right there. Yeah, it's right there. It gets bogged down in a long court scene. It's okay, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, mad boring. Yeah, but, but it, you know, it goes. But I mean, the Karamazov is good. It's yeah. sick. Yeah, you know, but it's no, it's no Absalom. Right. So, and then it's cl- is it clear that how? Because that's another thing that did, did it make you cry at the end. Uh, That's the thing Welbeck says. He's like, I can't he finish uh, Karamazov without crying again. I think I gotta hit it again. You skimmed the court scene, dude. No, just play. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, but I mean, and it's like, yeah, I think what you're saying is 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 relevant though. That is there when someone the point that? becomes clear, it's like, Bruh, I'm just like, it takes you out of it. Yeah, like, dude, I'm just like, the I get it moment. But I do that to myself, yeah. dude. I do that to myself. Like, actually, I got pointed out in a recent edit with my with my manuscript where yeah. I'm all like. I'm describing this job scene. Yeah. And like, and I don't even know if this, dude, I've been cutting. I've been cutting. Yeah. I've been shaving a lot. I need to get down to 80. But there's this one scene where like, I don't know how it never got picked up yeah. when I was reading it. And it was like, um, it's a job scene and I'm working at the building, the um, the, 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 the carpentry stuff. Yeah. And there's like one girl on the job. Yeah. She's like this little girl. And I'm, I'm being all like bass, you know, it's like fucking sick. Dude. She got car hearts on. Like, yeah. She was like my my uh partner uh she was like my partner we're like banging it's like crazy yeah. we're banging walls out and she's always showing me how to do it because all the other guys aren't fucking paying attention to me it's <laughs> my first day you know she's like showing me how to do it and it's all good and then like but then she can't lift the flats because they're too heavy because yeah. they're fucking huge and she's like fucking five she's like four ten so i'm all like trying to lift it myself and then i'm like it kind of fucked up the whole thing i'm like well let's chill let's chill and then like and then like i come back like a month later and then i was like yo where's she at or whatever you know and she just nail gunned her herself oh, directly shit. in the middle of the hand, and the nail guns are like this oh, big. Oh shit! Yeah, and then like that's the end of the story. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I'm all like, I add a couple lines at the end, like, but it had me thinking, like, <laughs> this is why like different people have different ro- roles. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> bro, bro, you don't gotta say like, <laughs> don't say it, don't say it. Just like, but always in Fuckboy too, that was always you know like yeah, like I remember there were chapters that were like those rant parts. Yeah, that were just like. Um, I had whole chapters I cut where it was just literally like two actions would happen and the rest was just a long yeah. rant. But that's what he's doing here. That's why I was kind of like, bro, keep going, dude. Like keep pu- like letting yourself. I mean, I guess he's like goaded because yeah. of he published so little and he like only, you know, yeah. talked to little tw- 22 year olds. <laughs> but but like, dude, like, I don't know, like it's interesting. But maybe there's some to that. Like, you know, sometimes you want to, you know, I- I'll have a character do a rant if it's like a story. Yeah. Kind of like another story. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the rant mode, like, like Absalom is all rants. But they're telling stories. Yeah, they are. So how was that? You ran that oh, back, man. bro? Oh, man. It's Tell me crazy. about How did you run a... How did you... That's all I, I was, mean, I guess we were biting... That's all I was doing week. this week. Okay. I didn't do anything else. I, like, <laughs> I, you know, I had some sets and I was just reading Absalom. Yeah. That's how I wake up. Just, yeah. But... Hilarious. And it's funny. That's like, sick. I was I was trying to explain to Gabby like oh, what, no. it, what it is. The video had died. It's all good. Yeah. We're we're just <laughs> my whole phone is full. <laughs> we're just switching over to audio yeah. now. Yeah, uh, yeah, that'll be a good video. Yeah, dude. From when you're looking for your Zen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Start. I was I was thinking of how to explain what Absalom's about to Gabby, and as I don't even know, I feel like like the only way to explain it is explain telling the Absalom whole story. About. It's. So so Quinn This is a way more coherent version of like the intro of our first episode. Yeah, I mean, I'm that, all like, damn, so <laughs> dads, right? They're crazy. 
So basically, <laughs> it's this dude, Thomas Sutpin, yeah, and he pulls up to Jefferson, Mississippi, from Haiti. With yeah, you know, well, they don't know where he's coming oh, yeah. from right off the bat, but he got a whole crew of slaves, and he swindles some Native American who got the land oh. for about a hundred acres. Okay, and then he starts, you know, erecting his vision. Right. right, where he builds this big fucking house, right. and he's just living out there with him and his slaves, right. and people in the town come, just the men, first off, come, yeah. and they, they're drinking out there, and he's fighting the slaves, right? And yeah. he's just like some wild dude for a while. And then, uh, after years of that, right, yeah. he goes in, and he gets a wife, yeah. you know, and he picks, like... Eula Bond. No, yeah. no. no. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I don't remember the names anymore. This is, it's Ellen Coldfield, yeah, right? Ellen it's Coldfield, Coldfield yeah, whose dad is that. like some... Who's fucking Eula? She's in there too, Eula's right? from uh, The Hamlet. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah I've been she, reading that. I'm oh, you, that. yeah, you hit that? I've been poking my Wait, head did, in there. Wait, did you, did you see the, the scene with the teacher? I didn't get in there, no, I didn't okay. get in there yet. But anyway... <laughs> Why would I like... <laughs> but he gets a... Basically, all he wants is... To be a fucking big rich guy with he wants to be like Abraham, right? He wants a whole right. progeny, right? He wants a flock to tend to. Yeah, but he gets a, a wife in Haiti, and yeah. that, and then he has a, a son, and he yeah. finds out that the the wife was like Part an black. octoroon, right? right. She, right. she had right. black blood, right. and so the son was black, and so that won't do, right? right. He right. can't have any. It has to be a white line of yep. you know. And so he goes back and he gets a new wife yeah. and, you know, everything's good. And then his son goes off to college and starts hanging out with this Charles Bond right, dude, right, right? Right, right, And then he goes, he brings Charles home for Christmas. Yeah, one, exactly. And Charles and Judith, Henry's sister, yeah. like start a little fling or something. He's only there for 10 days. Yeah. And then they go back and basically Sutpin tells Henry that, you know, they, they're brothers. They right. can't marry. But he doesn't right. mention that he's black, right? right. That's right. like the Trump at the end. Right. You know, but eventually Henry kills Charles, right? And Sutpin tries to knock up uh, Wash Jones, who's right. like this white dude who works on his estate. His daughter. Yeah, he knocks up his granddaughter, his who's granddaughter. like fifteen, and right. there's like a whole scene of him like grooming her. This he's is giving like her, Yeah, he's giving her these <laughs> he, these little sorry, ribbons sorry, and candies dude. and shit, and everyone right. in town knows. Right. But right. Wash is ignoring it because this has been his boy for twenty years, even Damn. though he can't even come to the front of the house. Right? They won't let him in the front because he's some poor dumb white. And then he Whoa. ends up the the I forgot about that last thing. Right? And then, right. dude. The, the the granddaughter has the baby, right? And he's going out to, to see his horse got, his stallion knocked up another horse, right? And okay. the horse had her baby the same day. Oh. And then he goes to see the, the horse first. Yeah. Yeah. And then he goes to see the the girl he knocked yeah. up in this little shack by the, the water. Right. And he sees that he has, she has a girl. And he goes, uh, too bad it's not a a horse or I would find a nice stable for her. And then he just wow. walks out. And so Wash gets a, a scythe and kills him after Whoa, that. Whoa, I forgot for about saying that. that. That's, That's right. How I remember that. Dying. I remember that. Yeah, exactly. But wasn't there a scene before that where like uh, Charles Bond comes over and like he's like, nah, you ain't my son. No, well, the, well, the whole time uh, Charles, all he wants to do is uh, – is is acknowledge get, get acknowledge some acknowledgement and he's thinking in his head so i'm like charles bond yeah you exactly like, uh, <laughs> damn damn dude but he's just he just wants any acknowledgement at all and uh he never gives it to him that's like but, me in the literary world dude yeah <laughs> my guys it was, I'll try, it was a good book though right it's like, it's nah, funny all you these fucking, you walked a rune i'm like damn <laughs> The, all these guys Plus. in in Faulkner who are like like Joe Christmas and Charles yeah. Bond who just want you know yeah. someone to look at them and yeah. some acceptance they can't even handle it when it comes but they just want some but I mean the whole book is and it's how about formally were you getting charged up formally oh yeah it was because it's crazy because because all the pieces are indifferent like we don't get Suppin's background at all to like chapter seven where we find out when he was a kid in West Virginia they were like the poorest whites. Right. And one day he goes up to uh, the rich white plantation owner's house with a message from his dad. And who's up in Suppin does as a little boy. Okay. He's like 10. Right. And 
the slave and opens the, slave the door and tends, says, "You can't." That's get what out Weinstein here. was spitting about. Yeah. And the part I did with yeah, Weinstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was spitting about that. I don't. I don't remember that though. You didn't remember that scene? I didn't. No, he. I mean, he spit about it in yeah. the pod. I didn't remember that he had an experience like that when he was younger. Weinstein did? Su- no, Subpin. Oh yeah, did. Subpin. Like I didn't realize that a lot. That of was his, the whole, and that was the whole so thing. So he's kind of humanizing Subpin too. Yeah, and also that's like his, you know, that's what he was trying to cover up his whole life, uh, the whole thing, just that that hurt of, Damn. you know, getting rejected like that. And that must, there's a whole. How does that come out in the? Is someone telling that story? Yeah. Who's telling it? It's um. So does this story? Does she? The person who's telling does a. Caulfield, who in the so beginning, this is how the telling the re- goes. Yeah, how does the telling go? So Quentin's about to go to Harvard, right? And he's about to go to Harvard. Yeah, and, and on the first, yeah, he kills himself. In. Yeah, after this story, the story's too much for him. It's another inter- intertextuality. Yeah, from nine stories. Yeah, like Seymour and Franny and Zoe. Yeah, you yeah. You see the scene of what leads to him killing himself. Yeah, he's wow. like, hey, little girl, you and wanna, that's kind of what this is with a Quentin. banana fish. Yeah, in the water, and it gets really vague. It's yeah, little girl, is you want to go see banana fish in the water? She's like, okay. They go out in the water, and he's like, kind of touches her ankle yeah. a little bit, and she comes back, and he like walks back to his room and kills himself. Oh my God, what's a banana fish? A dick? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> he's gross, the Salinger. He's, he's a little pervert. Dude, those writers <laughs> are perverts, dude. It's not me. Not me. Definitely <laughs> not me, dude. <laughs> But I'm like, why the fuck? Why do you think? That? I don't, yeah, man. So, girl. but yeah, I th- like. It's almost like, and Quentin drowns, right? And like, he drowns himself. And right. it's just it seems like the whole Absalom is like just like a flood, almost like right. with everything. It's almost like this is the flood that he drowns in. This is the torrent that's too much for. Were you him. picking up on? Bi- Wait, did I just ask you a question before that? Oh, the telling. Yeah, How does yeah. the telling go? So he pulls up. To see this old lady who's a friend of his grandma's, right? Rosa Coldfield. Quentin, about to go to college. Yeah. yeah. And, and to get the end of this, he doesn't really want to be there, right? But he's, his dad tells him to go to get this story. And she starts telling him. And then we get other things his dad has told him too. Rosa okay. and his dad tell him different bits of this story, right? And they don't always match up. Yeah. But Rosa's whole shit was that Subpin married her sister. And then he went away to the war. This older sister died, right? And Rosa went to live at the house when she was like nineteen, right? And he basically told her, uh, uh, instead of getting married, she was he was like, "Why don't we fuck? And if it's a boy, I'll marry you." Well, That's basically what he said to her. And then it never happened. They never. And then he died. And then she's just been hating him for like forty three years. They said he does that to the sister. Yeah, the Rosa. That's what he says to Rosa. Oh, okay. And her sister and him were married, but okay. after the after she died, he wanted a new wife, right? Damn. So anyway, so he gets this story from Rosa and his dad, and then he goes to Harvard, and him and Shreve, we're he's telling Shreve, it. yeah, the story. That's another, yeah, that's the thing I was feeling. I mean, these are all so obvious things, but when I was reading the nine stories, that's another wild thing. Remember yeah. that day? Of, yeah. Well, you know, yeah. Huh. Remember that? Yeah, that day you read the, you read the script the first time. Yeah. And we kind of like spazzed out of, or we we kind of flipped out about it. And then I was, I texted you. I was like, oh, it's actually about to be a different book now. It's oh yeah, yeah, stories, yeah. About to be nine stories. Yeah, that's right. That's and have right. a note in my notes app of nine yeah, stories. Yeah, you called me that day, and, and but that's said, what the stories yeah. collection is called. But you didn't even know that. But I, I maybe vaguely, yeah. n- not nine nine crimes, yeah. nine lives, and nine nine, nine chapters of Absalom. Nine chapters of Absalom. Yeah. The first draft is on nine chapter seasons, but now what is this nine? Where does nine come from? Nine is nine, 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 nine of sword, nine of wands, dude. That's it's almost There's something nine. This it's is almost, but not there. Almost. Dude, yeah, I guess it's, it's, it's a, almost perfect. It's huh? Almost, but yeah, that's a that's a feeling of. But uh, okay, that yeah. So that's the thing feeling I was feeling reading those stories where he's telling different parts of the big story. But everything's like super in scene. Yeah. And then this one chapter I'm reading, this was the fifth story. Um, and then Gordon Lish wrote a book that's a play off of one of the stories in Nine Stories. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like to, to Eula with, to for Esme, M dash with love and squalor, and one of his books is called like for someone. Yeah. W- M dash with something and something. That's a famous story. I think I read that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then another one of the stories, it's like it's like the housekeeper, like Boo Boo or something. Yeah. I think she's a housekeeper. I don't know. Yeah. 
but she comes up in Franny and Zoe too. Yeah. But he's telling stuff like in scene and this really, but that's what I need. Yeah. But see, like, but I'm not really. That's yeah. That's kind of what I need to do now. <laughs> but it's like, I guess the the Karamazov rants are all it's abstractions. Scene. Abstractions, right? Yeah. And in the the Absalom, it's all story. In, it's yeah. It's everything's in scene. Everything's in and scene, get, and then you hear a story being told in the scene, and then you pat, and it's you, like then you pat drop back out into the scene. Yeah. He and the, over and the, over the language is more interesting too. And the language he's yeah, the language like, he's snapping. I mean, it's really wild. Where's it's he getting really, that from? I don't know. Moby Dick. Moby the Dick. The Bible. Yeah, the Bible. You know. Yeah. Um, Did you pick up on any more Ulysses? Biblical? Yeah. 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 He loved Ulysses. True. True. I know. Maybe a couple of those chapters either. are more maximalist. What? That's another one you didn't finish. Either. I definitely finished that. <laughs> Did you finish that? Ulysses. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, bro. <laughs> I thought you told me one time you didn't read the Molly chapter. Oh yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm like halfway through the Molly chapter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I probably finished yeah. it. Let's see. Where's it at? <laughs> yeah. Where's it at? Let's see. Let's see. If there's a. Damn, dude. How you gonna call me out on that? There it bro? is. Right it was there. Weinstein too, bro. It was Weinstein. Right. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's see. Wow, dude. Let's see how far these margins go. <laughs> this is when we really need the video, dude. <laughs> okay, there is a bookmark, but there's <laughs> nah, dude. No. There's markings going on. No, no, no. I went back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, markings. Okay, they do they do kind of drop off. <laughs> Damn, dude. Wait, is this the afterward? That's the afterward, bro. Okay. Okay, yeah, there aren't that many markings. See, see you end. read the whole book, then you're like a woman talking, I'm out. Yeah, the way. <laughs> 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 oh my god, dude. All right, I'm about to body the end of this. Wait, this would probably slap way different. Oh, you can see exactly where I stopped, dude. Damn, who the fuck reads 616 pages? That's like I had 616 a pages of 643. I had a client who wow, uh, dude, who ran twenty five and a half miles of a marathon. Then he quit. It's like me walking across country, bro. That's true. I guess you. <laughs> it's because I don't have a dad, bro. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Damn. Is that why? No, I have a dad. Or whatever. No, yeah. That's weird. I, I mean, he was on the pod. Right? That was pretty crazy. That was pretty unhinged. I think LeBron little... doesn't have a dad. He finished Ulysses. Oh my God! You seen LeBron talking about the the. Malcolm X autobiography. No. <laughs> oh my God. You haven't seen that? He pulls up to the press yeah. conference. It's like they're in Black Lives Matter. Yeah. Holding a Malcolm X uh, <laughs> autobiography. And he's like, What's up? He's like, Yeah. He's all like somber. And they're like, Oh, you reading that? He's like, Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm reading this. I read it. You know, he's like, What do you like about it? He's like, uh, I like the the words, the ideas. <laughs> the words <laughs> and the ideas. <laughs> He like it's so funny. Yeah, bro. it's so funny. I like the yeah. It's the book. <laughs> when what you gotta who who what NBA player would be reading Fuckboy? You gotta get into like Austin Steph. Reeves' hands. <laughs> Steph Steph probably read that, dude. Do you think Steph read it? Yeah, me and his wife got the same publisher, dude. Oh, is that right? Nah, nah. nah. But yeah. I don't, you know, I was like, no, um, yeah, good question. What were you talking about? We talking oh, about? the the Faulkner, where he got that language from. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess he. You could take one of these Ulysses chapters and just go crazy. Yeah, but but everything is like. But is that what we're trying to write now, dude? Well, that's that's okay, the thing that's, I was thinking too. Like, like Absalom as a book now. Like I was thinking, like, man, if I wrote this book, I'd be so fucking hype. But nobody in my life would read it. Like yeah. nobody at all would read it. But it's. It's sick, you know, it's intense. It's, I mean, it's, you know. Because I was thinking about that. Like, you were saying uh, that last time we did, re- we did the pod where you were like, oh, yeah, how I was reading before, where yeah. I was taking everything for myself. Yeah. I feel like you kind of got to be in, I don't know. I, I That's why I couldn't read too many things, because if it wasn't, if it wasn't, if I didn't have a line, sometimes yeah. I forget why I was reading it, and I wouldn't be able to read it anymore. Yeah. To exactly what I'm thinking about, because that's another thing, dude. I'm doing a fucking full rewrite right now, so that's why it's like hard for me to let other people's ideas in. But but you've been reading all week. You've been reading pretty good. Yeah, I read right? that in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but were you taking? Yeah, but you weren't really reading in that way, taking stuff for yourself. I don't know, like the on it, you know, like I like how wild it gets, and I was kind of doing that. You've seen the new pages and like when it's yeah it's third person out right yeah it kind of gets long and like 
all sorts of those dashes come in and the parentheses come in and yeah. just like stacking those. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a sick mode a in sick a lot mode. of ways to me. Just the because in my you know in my book yeah that there's the punctuation is real like spare there's only commas there's not even like semicolons or shit like that and it's spare so there's only so long that you know right there's only so many turns a sentence could take or whatever but like like the way absalom just drills you with here's there and there's a long dude here's this it's it's just it's like it it's it's just it's intense and it just gets you into this it's hypnotizing almost yeah. like you get into that rhythm you know that's 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 yeah that's that's what i was saying before that's my like if i to teach it like when yeah. I wrote, wrote that pigeon story like teach a class on how to write short stories yeah uh, it's what you do you print out absalom 8.5 8. yeah by 11 you just get a six pack of fucking narragansett yeah and you just say, drink and try and cry and just keep reading absalom until you Think of something to write. And that, you just I start mean, flowing. Cause on dude, the rhythm I, is I crazy of it. I literally did that. Yeah. I read like the first dude. Like all you need is like the first twenty yeah. pages, bro. You just like, but, but yeah, dude. I mean, th- I was thinking about that a lot too. Where I was cultivating my taste, where like I would, I would, I was like, but you have to keep reading, yeah, in order to be able to do that past places you don't like. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was trying to cultivate my taste in a way where I was like. I was being hyper aware of what I wanted to read as I was reading it. Yeah. Like what kind of thing I wanted oh, to read. Oh, like, like, like what this isn't gonna, hitting. This isn't I wish hit. it was Why like is this, this not right hitting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was doing that, which is what I was always doing before, yeah. bro. I was always doing that before. Um, there, there's only, it's funny, there, there was only one like passage I didn't like in Absalom, which was funny because I was oh. like, when I would go back, like I was marking it or whatever. I, you know, it's it's blocked text, right? So sometimes you'd be rereading shit. Right. And I, I got to a point where I'd already read, and I was like, oh, this is boring. I skipped it. It was the only passage, like, I oh, skipped. Yeah? yeah, it was funny. Wait, let me... Yeah, I got it. Dude, I got to pee real quick. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Pause real quick? Yeah, pause. We back All right, on we're it? back, we're back. All right, you better rip. rip yeah, yeah, the, the, the part I, I thought was... Yeah, yeah, what's the part that sucked? <laughs> Shreve was 19, a few months younger than Quentin. He looked exactly 19. He was one of those people whose correct age you never know because they look exactly that. And so you tell yourself that he or she cannot possibly be that because he or she looks too exactly that not to take advantage of the appearance. Dude. So you never believe in... It's Dude. like... He was blackout at this yeah. point, bro. He was blackout, bro. I mean, He's that's fucking, a little drag, right? Yeah, he yeah, looked, yeah. He, he was, looked so exactly 19. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? What are you talking about, my dude? Dude, he was for sure... Yeah, he was blackout. His wife was downstairs in the office, like pissing him off. He's like, I gotta, you know how important this is? I gotta tell him about how 19 this fool was. He was so 19. He's like, I'm gonna send it. Hey, you can't be writing up that about ways. a girl, huh? You can't oh, be. Imagine right. if he's oh, like, the girl? girl? No, no. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, but imagine bad, he's bad, like, bad. the girl looked exactly 19. Damn, damn, damn. damn. <laughs> then that's like Salinger. Salinger probably got some bars about I mean, exactly 19. Dude, I can't even go into, bruh. <laughs> I feel like some people, I mean, people really do be liking Salinger. He does. Okay, here's the, here's the thing about Salinger. Yeah. Yeah, what's the okay. big appeal? Here, here's what's the thing about Salinger. Okay, here's another thing, bro. I was just a little boy, dude. I was. It wasn't even my senior year. It was like my sophomore or junior year. It was like a, It was AP. It was no. It was my junior year, and then my senior year, like, or I went to college and came back, and my English teacher was using that essay. Yeah. Flex. No big deal. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Sick, I'm just That's hard. sick. It was pretty sick, though, dude. It was pretty sick because I really spazzed and I was really spitting like whatever I wanted. Yeah. It wasn't even like a shape of an essay. I was like, it was like classic. Like I was Can like, you telling submit stories. that one for the Pulitzer Prize? Yeah, dude. Fucking dude. <laughs> don't even talk about these fake ass <laughs> prizes, bro. Um, but uh, <laughs> I'm never gonna, dude. I'm never gonna get. Any, I'm talking so much shit, dude. I'm just posting nudes on Twitter. Like, <laughs> yo, why I get the Pulitzer Prize, bro? Yeah, I'm really snapping. But um, okay. Here's the thing, right? Why did that? I didn't know shit about Challenger when I read that. Yeah. I read that in class, but something about it, I was like, like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, one thing that's interesting is I was reading about him, and like when he first came out, first of all, how he talks, how his characters talk is so funny. He just says goddamn all yeah, the time, yeah. dude. Like, like I read you, like, you know, these goddamn, like, yo, these are some damn, yeah. these are some crazy, like, I, you know, I be saying that shit all the time. Yeah, yeah. And back then, that was like swearing, bro. This is my case, dude. I oh, actually okay. am Salinger because, <laughs> yo, just clip this right now. Yeah. Yo, I, yo, this, I am Salinger, dude. <laughs> I am, the title I'm of Steve the Jobs, bro. Yeah. Um, 
um i'm walt disney <laughs> but um but um because yeah that was like that was swearing back then yeah right it was like that's that's how my so you think that it was real provocative it was provocative yeah. it was crude and, and everyone's talking like it doesn't seem like like people go on these rants bro and they're just like yeah they're just like it's just like talking yeah you know um that's one yeah, thing it's, it's funny how like like in Absalom, like, there's no swearing like there's no swearing in Faulkner, really. True, true. I mean, you know, it's an N word fest. Right, it's an N word fest. It's like fuckboy. Sure. It sounds like fuckboy with all the <laughs> N words. Chill, chill. <laughs> Dude, I mean, why well, I always gotta throw? I always gotta throw one Trump thing and one N word in there. <laughs> but it's always for good reasons. Yeah. In the walk book. Well, Dude, put them. Put them if together. If someone calls me that, yeah. if someone calls us that in the middle of this, this is research. I'm a journalist. Yeah. Bro. But um, G- what's about you didn't say? let you run that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I ain't gonna talk about that. But um, that's one thing. Then like, yeah, it's the al- okay. Well, I mean, I'm speaking the thing of catching the ride, which I ran back earlier this year yeah. or like last year or something. But um, after after that girl said that to me, I was like, I gotta hit that. You gotta hit catching the, the ride, bro. And it's the, so good, dude. And, and, I, I'm and sorry the, if I'm, the Christ, the Christ, shit. the Christ shit. And he's always just like he's walking around. He's all like he's like. Yeah, it, it 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 is it is the it's it's a young you know and he's also doing all it's like all this edge boy stuff yeah. really where he's like he don't want to sleep. What do you say? It's just Siegel quotes. Yeah, I mean, that was wild, bro. How Siegel Siegel's reading of it, where he's all like, yeah, Salinger just has this weird thing where he's all like protective of girls yeah. and little girls. He's like a little little you know. Yeah. He's like he's like my sister, you know. Some that really gets some people going. I think you know yeah. what I mean. Um. But then he's all like, "Yeah, that's the thing. Like, girls always want you to do it." But then I don't. The thing with me is, I, they, yeah, he really say he yeah. quote. Then girls always at a certain point they say no, and most guys just override that. <laughs> but the thing about me is, I stop when they say no. And you're like, damn, he's like good. <laughs> he kind of wild for that, you know. I'm like, he me for real, dude. <laughs> I'm always disappointed. Yeah, that's my night. but um. So you're sad, so, Yeah, I mean, no, I'm not, dude. Well, here's another thing I was thinking. Okay, well, I'll just say. Is Fuckboy better than Catcher in the Rye? I mean, apparently, you know. It's new let's look at the, the numbers. It's new Catcher. <laughs> yeah, let's look at the numbers. <laughs> do we count PDF downloads? Yeah. The, do we count? Do we count? The leaked PDF no, downloads. No, do we count? Do Fuckboy count? got Catcher yeah. in the Rye crushed. I mean, bro, do we count library, uh, free library uh, ebook checkouts? Yeah. Then we good. Let's go. But um <laughs> but um um yeah, alienated boy, kinda fucked up about some shit and just like and he's always detached he his thing is like he's detaching from like what everyone wants. Yeah. Like everyone wants to be like famous and this. That's what he's always saying, like you know, yeah. he's a phony. But that's like that archetype is really appealing because it's it creates this intense interiority for the reader. Yeah, yeah. Where you're both in on this like little secret and, and it's like and it's like same with uh, Franny and Zoe, you know. But then are they all first person? No, Franny and Zoe in first person. It's in third. Yeah, I think so. And he in. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all third, but uh, but Catching the Rye is a first person. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe that's why I like it more. Yeah. But um, but uh, yeah. Speaking of that whole like, uh, not stopping when girls say stop was uh. <laughs> Yeah, do you think, or, yeah, I wonder if there is some, t- do you, you, yeah, you think, like, there, yeah, I guess it's obvious huh. that, like, falling into a type of, what is, what did, what did Dose, Dose say in this one? Oh, Lottery, corruption. Corruption. Yeah. Yeah, you think that's, like, some, that's, like, it's, like, a reaction to some kind of. I don't know. I guess I always grew up. That's one thing about. I mean, weirdly, like in the fuck world, yeah. but he's actually. Well, I don't know, but he's also. That is a kind of thing where it's kind of like this nihilistic, like fucking going down with the ship, yeah. like whatever. It's like this. I think I've always kind of. Had, but I, that must be from my. My dad was never like. Dr- drugs are bad. He was yeah. like, give me. Where are, your, where are the drugs? Yeah, Can yeah. I have some? You know? Is that crazy to say? <laughs> no. But like, do you think there is some to that where it's like. I feel like something in the culture is like it's like sus to be like puritanical about like a certain type of corruption. You know, it seems yeah. like quintessentially. But growing up, do you feel like you had that kind of drilled into you? I mean, you were turning, you be turning up too. Yeah, I was. You I was turning, turning up, up, hitting licks. But now, you know, and I mean, like my my uncle and my grandpa were 
heavy alcoholics, right? Okay. I mean, my uncle did drugs and shit. You know, yeah. they were all they were they were both, and so that was it. Wasn't like, and that that certainly wasn't drilled into me like that's bad. But I did have like when I was probably like in early middle school before I started drinking, I was like, I'm never gonna fucking drink ever. I'm not gonna be like my fucking. You know, I was like that through high school too, yeah. bro. I was like, I'm about to be in the NBA, dude. I gotta fucking. You you weren't like partying in high school. Actually, I was partying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was drinking, but I wasn't smoking weed. Yeah, like I, uh, uh, you know, I smoked weed once in high school. Yeah, right before uh, my job. I didn't. I didn't Safeway. smoke weed until uh, and I got a drug test and I didn't get the job. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> the like, one time you smoked the weed. The one time I smoked weed. That's like, yeah, we like yeah. hot boxed the car and I was all like, I'm fucking. I'm weird. This is weird. But yeah, I didn't. Yeah, but I was drinking. My family's always yeah. drinking. Yeah, that's right. Your dad told that story about yeah, it. Yeah, He's out yeah, there. yeah. Blackout. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was good. Okay, but yeah, what were we talking about? The corruption. Yeah, I don't know. You think? Yeah, I wonder. It's if interesting. I, what? I'm what? A, I'm a corrupting force as a side. Are you a corrupting force? I think it's like, you know, I got home late from a from a show on Tuesday. I must have got home like 11:30, and I was like, man, I I probably just should just go to bed. But then I was like. It's just feeling like this spiritual emptiness. I was like, I gotta fucking drink, you know. Right. Like it just, just out of like boredom or just yeah. like this, this gap. There's this gap. I, I, I you know, I can't just. I don't want to fucking go to bed and then it's right. gonna be tomorrow again. I want to fucking, right. you know, get drunk. Right. You know, I don't know what that is. That's a, it's, see, see, that's where the the corrupt. That's that's what the devil's leading you to. The devil gives okay. you these little blank spaces. The, right. You know, it's the idleness, right? It's the boredom. It's the idle. That's the idle hands are a devil's fucking plaything. They tell you not to jerk off, right? Right, right, <laughs> right. So that's that's it's that idleness. It's that Maybe boredom. Maybe I gotta find God, bro. Huh? Yeah, that's true. God Damn. is never. It's never boring with God. Well, here. Okay, here's another wild thing. <laughs> here's another wild thing. Remember that fool Matthias? Uh, uh, the the professor the professor from my Roth piece. Yeah, he better come out here the next next. Oh, like really? Two weeks. We're gonna bang a pot. Really? He's writing a book on Kafka's letter to his father. Oh, that's gonna this be dude's so interesting. Yeah. He's only right. His favorite thing are Rilke's letters to a young poet. Yeah. He's like obsessed with letter literature. Yeah, and his letters are fucking crazy, bro. We have a crazy email thread. Oh, you and this guy? Yeah, yeah. Matthias oh, Portmuth, great sick. professor. Yeah. Um, and he's better, like an Auerbach guy, right? He's an Auerbach guy. You but gotta yeah, read he's that. A Mimesis. Book. You I gotta, gotta read that. Yeah, I got it. No, I don't got it yet. I'll I'll throw it to you. But every time, but that's the thing, dude. Yeah, like that's why all those ideas about uh, not doing things for a result, not getting caught up. Yeah, that is the devil, huh? Yeah. Damn. The devil is. The devil might have gotten me, bro. Well, that's what, and that, in all throughout, uh, Shreve is calling Sutpin the demon while they're talking about it the whole time. He's a demon because he, he's a ruinous force, right? He corrupts everyone in his life. He ruined his all his children's lives he everyone he came into contact with he ruined Damn. because all he wanted was results the right. whole time right? right all he wanted was to enact his vision and that's all he cared about and then he starts talking about it's kind of crazy like in the middle there they, they start talking about his morality morality they keep mentioning morality morality in relation yeah. to Suppin. like yeah and it, i was just like i was writing the mark like what are the what could they be talking about in his morality? Right. Like, but I think it's just for him, whatever that meant, the the morality was just that single minded attitude to to cover up the blank in his life. This you know, with you know, he got rejected at that door, so now he gotta be fucking you know, he wants to be Abraham, right? He wants to be fucking King David. That's Absalom Absalom, right? He's trying to right. be a biblical fucking king. Right. right? And the key to that is his damn progeny, which, right. he, which he never right. Right. figures out. He ruins everything. He ruins everything by thinking about his results. What does he say here? This is such a fire part of Franny and Zoe, where it's just listing all these different things. Um, like he just walked to the, he just has him have go on a fifty page like conversation with his little sister, yeah. telling her like she doesn't know what Jesus yeah. is, and he like leaves the room like sparks. He's also always blasting cigs. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> everyone's blasting cigs all the time. He sparks just, like a cig up and then just starts walking around and starts reading all the quotes on yeah. the thing, and he just lists them. Oh shit! This is a bar. God instructs the heart not by ideas but by pains and contradictions. Mm. That's a good idea because then you're like, damn, I'm getting. 
constructed for something right now. Yeah. You know? And then there was another part where his one line was like, be sober. <laughs> <laughs> it was hidden. It was hidden when I read it. Or he you reads, been sober this week? Well, dude, I, I've been kind of more sober. Well, yeah, you've been drinking a little? Nah. Really? No. Nah. You haven't been doing anything? Drinking nah. or smoking? Just coffee. Wow, nice. And up at night. Yeah. Yeah. How do you say, hey, you stay up all night even when you're not drinking or anything? Well, dude, every now and then this happens. Like, I was kind of thinking that Welbeck line, and finally I could read again. Yeah. Welbeck says, like, in order to really read, you have to, like, really hate the world. Yeah. You're hating the world again? I feel like that. Yeah. yeah it's a phase I have every now and then. And then you're, it all culminated on the full outside? moon last night. Oh, dude, yeah. I go outside. It was a big time full moon, dude, right? I fucking, like, I stayed up, like, past it. I was getting hit with all these, like, weird feelings. It was funny. Uh, I was with Gabby, and I was yeah. like, we seen the big ass moon. I was yeah. like, damn, Sean must be tarding out right now. <laughs> <laughs> must be what? He must be tarding out. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I was passing out, dude. And then I fucking fell asleep for like, I went on like a long sleep. It was like a, it was like a coma. It was like yeah. a small death. I just slept forever. Were you, were you spazzing out? What, what, you were, uh, you were up all night? It was a weird moon, dude. I, I yeah. like was feeling, I was crying a little bit. Yeah. And then like, yeah, I kept doing this where I tried to go outside. I was really hating the world. Yeah. I tried to go outside. And hated it came right back inside. Damn, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so it was a weird thing. Like misanthropy's spiking, so my art's finally coming back. Yeah, yeah. And just like and you feel like the work has been good. I feel like I finally have some like clarity on stuff. I feel like I'm looking at my book like I'm a different person. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I caught out a lot of stuff, changing a lot of stuff. But, but I also have to remember that it's not really a. Yeah. Anyway, I've been thinking about it. it's not really a book it's a and testimony yeah yeah you, you had been said that yeah but i don't understand is there what that anything means. else that that's a testimony mm, like that like that um well roth has a million is one a testimony he has an autobi- autobiography he might have one that's a testimony yeah roth roth was always doing I that i can't think of any i think i'm gonna do that every i shouldn't get my ideas away but um <laughs> but um testimony's good though but but yeah, hating the world. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think my idea that I've always had that's driven like my sort of like debauched mode. Yeah, is that it's kind of out of rap, like the rap ethic. Yeah, which is basically like even like not even just like nihilistic rap. Yeah, it's kind of like maybe like just an old rap ethic where it's kind of like you know, like. Like, I mean, I sometimes walk around where I'm living now, and it's like, I'll just see, like, dudes in, like, a fucking crisp suit at, like, 7 a.m., like, with their hair slicked and just, like, blasting a cig, like, but, like, in, like, a really, like, you know, I'm like, this dude's probably a billionaire. Yeah. I'm just like, what are y'all doing from, like, I don't know, dude, the idea is that, like, to look down on, like, everybody's, the game, the world is, like, drug addicts and drug dealers. Yeah. Kind of. Do you yeah. know what I mean? On all levels. Like, you know? Yeah. So I'm kind of like, fuck all y'all. You yeah. know? Like, that's kind of always my... But then sometimes I'm like... But then it's like... But it's also like... It fucks you up. Or maybe I'm... Not, maybe I, that's wrong, dude. Maybe I'm... T- maybe I, I, and I've I been feel misled. Like, I've been misguided. And I feel like we're all in... Uh, we're, we're like contradictory with, with two things we always talk about. Yeah. I always talk about... Uh, Th- that athlete mode where you gotta right. be grinding and right, like you gotta right. be putting in the work right. and then also you know this attitude of it can't be about results or whatever right, and it's right, for a right, higher right, power right, right, and, right. you know how do you consult how do you do anything you know if you're not like you know Sutpin for all the fucking bad he did he did stuff he erected that big house right right right, he, you right, know, right. like <laughs> how do you who built the bridge yeah <laughs> see, every time i get <laughs> drunk and some girl starts talking about feminist no 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 girls ladies did a lot of like great they got, things you know they bore all the humans they, that are here <laughs> thank that's, you that's that's definitely something <laughs> but like like they've been doing fucking night construction on my street yeah. this week, which you know it's illegal unless they really have to. And that that's a big loophole. <laughs> is that if they have to, they can do it. But Damn. so they're like out there at one in the morning breaking the road for no reason. They're getting it done. It's evil, but they're getting it done, right? They're getting results. Well, you know what changed for me this week? And okay, that's what was, that's why it ties back to Matthias, dude. I'm gassing up our pod, dude. Yeah. Our pod's gonna be fucking <laughs> sick, bro. Um. 
every time our emails come back, it's like, dude, it's like, it is something like that. It is what I ranted about in the yeah. piece, but it is something like we're talking about why Salinger hits, where yeah. it's like, it is kind of Christian, where it's just like, and this always happened, dude, I've been in this like stress state or just like weird, I mean, I competition or you see stuff in the world and you get yeah. envious and you want it or you want things to happen right away or all that stuff where it's like you are doing something on a completely different wavelength for like no reason yeah that's how it always was dude that's yeah. how it always was like my view and now it's so hard to get back into that because so many reasons so many things are at stake okay, you know yeah that's what's hard for me now i'm remembering that but what happened this week was I mean, part of the reason why I was staying up all night was because I feel like I had too much stuff going on or I don't want someone to reach out to me and interrupt yeah. me or something like that. Yeah, where yeah. I was like, no, I'm like, wait till all the kids go to sleep. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And then so what's been happening was I started I started uh, putting my putting my earplugs in again. Oh, yeah. I just and got some I started earplugs. going earplug headlamp and yeah. candle. That's a crazy. <laughs> idea, dude. I'm a damn minor, bro. Yeah. But it works, bro. It works, bro. Because what happens is you think you're not going to be able to. Yeah. Like you're thinking you're going to reach for your phone. But you get lo- you you just f- like I had moments where I was forgetting I was reading again. Yeah. I mean, on I sound it, like I'm. Literate, but, but that's but that's what a, you. It's an ongoing struggle. To, to, I mean, it, you know, there's reading and then there's reading. Right. And it's it's like, you know, sometimes I get in. You know, I'm trying to read some. Uh, my phone's like charging, and I'm sitting at my desk, yeah, yeah. and it's like I'm just clicking, like check right, it, like right, dude. you gotta turn it off, fucking throw it in the oh, fucking throw river, it out the window, you know? dude. But that's what Matthias was saying. It was like we're always scared of the silence, it's about fear of silence, bro. yeah. But it's funny that the results thing, like, you know, there's a way to do shit. I think oriented toward the completion of something that that's not about, like, you know, Faulkner. When he was, yeah, like he was writing for nobody, he thought because no one wanted, especially after the Sound of the Fury. You know, right. he he said that right that right. he gave up trying to right. write for for after the first right. novel was a, a flop, and you know, right. so he was just, I mean, he was getting results, but it wasn't like oh, I'm doing this, I'm gonna fucking make a bunch of money off this, right? Like, like he was just trying to do his thing. But that that's the case for what Salinger actually did. Yeah, just was vanishing he just and not even publishing. Still writing, but like, but like, it writing not for his not little for girls, him. writing for his <laughs> his harem, writing for his preschool. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe the quit publishing is. Yeah, the, I'll probably quit publishing. <laughs> I'm doing too many fucking dude. I have this new pol. Yeah, this new policy where like, yeah, okay, I'm not. I'm. I'm not doing. Um, I'm not giving people work. Yeah, unless it's. This is kind of wild, but yeah. unless it's you paying me money, I'm not giving you a story unless you're paying yeah. for it, or it's in print, or and or yeah, maybe both, you know. But if someone and then if someone wants to do print, but doesn't want to pay me, or whatever, it's not even about yeah. money, but it's just like someone random. I don't want to just be thrown yeah, work yeah. out willy nilly. Then I'll let them interview me. if they want. But though if they want to interview me and it's for print, yeah. I'm like all right. But now I'm just like, I got like three interviews. It's I'm doing way too many interviews. Yeah. And I was reading about Salinger, like spat like people at Dartmouth, which is nearby where he lived, yeah. would come over and try to get him to interview. And then one time one time uh they they published the interview and he would invite all the students to his house. Yeah. That's how you got the college students. Yeah. yeah. And then like they convinced him to do an interview and then it came out and he didn't like how it looked and he like never talked to them again. Wow. So he's like weird. He's a little bit of kook. Yeah. yeah. And then that's the thing, and he's all into Eastern stuff and he's yeah. all telling Zoe what to do, which is apparently based on his relationship with one of the his subsequent wives <laughs> really i think i read that yeah but um see they would say like or his or i guess his daughter one of his daughters wrote a crazy memoir and then his son was like nah like this there's two memoirs one's yeah. by the young girl who who she he was with like 10 months yeah. like who who was in college and the other is his daughter and his daughter wrote a crazy memoir about how like he would just like disappear for like two months and like write his novel and come back and he like have no work to show for it. Yeah, like, he just have some new theory. <laughs> like, he got into Harry Krishna. He yeah, got, no, he got into Scientology almost for a yeah. second. So he was striving for that fucking religious system. Yeah, so I guess the I top some, down uh, stability. Yeah, yeah. But damn. Yeah. Seems good. We got a hundred minutes. Yeah. So, anything? Any final words on Salinger or Faulkner? Yeah. Um, I mean, the Matthias episode is about to snap. But yeah, maybe there is something <laughs> to Salinger about. Uh, I think that's a good headspace. Was it? Not publishing. 
Yeah. Because then you're just do it like, for you, do it for you and God. Do it for you and God. What did, what did Jordan tell you? There's some things you yeah. should only tell to, you, to one person and God. Some things you only tell to one person and God. And then that's what he does to Sonia. Yeah. He's like, I'm just going to tell her. She's oh, he confesses to her. Yeah. He yeah. says, you're the only person. I'm going to make her. Damn, dude. All this stuff is about about death yeah. and unsayable things. But a lot of times, they're kind of like coming at things peripherally in the aftermath. And, and that's about like, all Absalom is like a withholding. Right. Everything's withheld because they can't, like one person doesn't have the whole story. There's there's absences there. Right. There's mit. And so they go around it. And they're trying to figure out what's going on, but something's missing, right? And it's about absences. That's a, crazy, that's a crazy, yeah. I might got to rewrite my whole book. Yeah. That's a crazy I've been having where I had to share it with a few new people, and I'm like, I don't want to do this to yeah. you. I want to write a letter and be like, no, I'm sorry. I was joking. Don't. don't. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, coming at things peripheral. But I don't know. They'll read it after you die. It don't really matter anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let's listen to the Matthias pod. You got any last words on uh, Absalom? Nah, read Absalom. It's sick. Read Absalom, motherfucker. I um, <laughs> go watch uh, Harold hey, well, uh, CBS uh, News 30-minute uh, special. Yeah, yeah. The, do you like that? Is that fucking sick or what? Yeah, that was sick. That, that was, was sick. pretty sick. Dude, you, held, you, held, you held your own, Yeah, too. yeah. You were teaching that, that lady how to fucking box? Yeah, that was funny. That was tight. That was tight. <laughs> She don't got no hands. Damn, it was sick though. That one lady was like really shook by it. Oh, wait, that's the last thing I got to ask you. Yeah. Why is there a reason why it's called uh, Maria? Maria, Mary, you took those names. Well, of course, Maria is fucking uh, mother of God. Okay, right, and she's second Eve. Right, she's okay. she and you know, and we get in the book, we get Grandma Marta's like our Eve, right? She committed the original sin in the family. She she fucked right. someone else and, and, and you know, had a, someone Grandma, else's kid. Grandma Marta did? Yeah. Okay. And So Marta's second, or Mary's second. Which one? And so, oh. but she's Eve, but her name's Marta, right? Okay, but okay. we get okay. Maria's second Eve. Oh, she's, I see. She's I see. a redemption, right? Cause God, aren't they sisters in the Bible? Um. Yeah, but that, you know. Okay, bet, that, bet, bet, bet. Yeah. It's unrelated. It's, it's just separate, okay. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. in terms of, uh, but, for Maria, it's, you know, that's okay. God's redemption for okay. Eve's sin. Eve's fall yeah. is to give us our perfect virgin Mary. And so, you know, damn, this is a little ironic. Maria's bad. Got and, you, got you, know, you. But she's the redemption. She's supposed to be the redemption. She don't want to be. Damn, dude. Right? <sighs> that's tight, bro. <laughs> damn. Damn, I got to read the Bible. Yeah, me too. Someone asked me the other day if I read it cover to cover, and I was embarrassed. I was like, "Nah, I read, I read the Gospels like eight times." All right, what, what are we gonna what are we gonna pot about next? Uh, the Bible. Yeah, maybe the Bible. Yeah, we'll see. maybe the Bible. <laughs> well, we'll one see. day, yeah. well, maybe maybe that'll be like a yo one story pods now a gospel study, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every week, I'm just like maybe yo. that's what the, the people want. Damn. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get. Maybe, all, maybe we gotta we'll get, get you all finally all to finish Ulysses. Mother, yeah, we'll talk we'll talk about the end of Ulysses. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, sick. This is good. All right. Yeah.